Well, welcome back once again to Miami-Dade College, the Kendall campus here in beautiful Miami, Florida. This is the final boys semifinal here of this Junior Orange Bowl Classic. It's Boys American right out of here in Florida. Of course, also uh, taking on Florida's Monte Verde Academy under head coach Kevin Sutton, nationally ranked squad with a bunch of players who may be uh, playing at the next level, as it is with most of these teams here in this Orange Bowl Classic. I'm Nate Lewis, going to bring you all the action here. The starting lineups for you for Boys Monteverdi, wearing number one, Gary Clark, number five, Deshaun Harris, number 12, Gabe Bellardo, number 20, uh, Femi Acampente, number 21, Solomon Alabe. For the Boys American, they're in the red. Number five, Jose Diaz, number 10, Lamar Dyer, number 11, Pedro Fleury, number 24, William Harris, number 32, Darian Dyer. And it's going to be number 24, William Harris with a die, and he's just going to abdicate to the big seven-footer, and it will be Monte Verde starting off things. Deshaun Harris bringing things down to point out. Check that. Gary Clark. No, it is Deshaun Harris. Holds up high right. Gives over to the far side to Gabe Bellardo. Thought about it. Clark lobs down low inside to the alibi. Goes around the horn. Going to go up top to Gary Clark. Around to Bellardo. Underneath the Abadi, who puts it up. No good. Ball down the floor. He's able to pick it right back up and put it in. Solomon Alibay. Two to nothing now, Monteverdi. America's going to have their hands full matchup-wise. they got to move the ball around quite a bit. Here's Lamar Dyer. Three-pointer missed by Jose Diaz. Down the floor, Gary Clark's going to come up with it. Gary Clark going to offer some matchup problems here as well. Deshaun Harris. Gets it around, down the floor to Espelardo. Well, looks, brings it up top to Harris. Around the horn to Acapite. Gets it up high, left side. Around to Bellardo. As Deshaun Harris drives, and he gets his ball knocked away from him. That's going to be a foul call. Harris gets the first. Sean Harris, six feet, 170 pounds, junior. Three to nothing to score. And make it four nothing. As Harris gets them both. A little full court pressure being put on now. Dyer gets it up to William Harris. Harris puts it on the floor, goes cross court to Fleury. Fleury drives, double pumps it up. Alibi makes the block, but knocked away. Now back into the hands of Fleury. As he gets it around to Dyer. William Harris drives, tries to kick it over far side to Fleury. Knocked out of bounds. And it will remain American basketball. There's Dyer on the inbounds. Gets down to Harris. Pump fake, looks, looks. Brings it right back out. He's in front of the, the seven-footer. And in trouble right now is Dyer. Bounce pass goes down low into the hands of Fleury. Tries to go back up top, knocked out of bounds, and it will remain American basketball again. Dyer on the inbounds. Lewis gives it up to William Harris, thinks about it. He's going to back up towards the half-court circle. He puts on the floor, stops, takes top of the key, three-pointer, banks it in. That is what America's going to have to do. They have a shot at winning this game. Four to three to score. But as you can see, the trouble they had inside. Alaba puts on the floor, stops, leans into it, puts it up, going to get his shot blocked with foul. Be at the line, he gets the first. He has three points now. He's seven feet, one inches, 230 pounds. As you can see, a lot of promise in that young man. And gets them both. You'll find also, you'll see also he's a very athletic seven-footer on top of that. 
6-3 to, to score right now. Montverde leads. And American with a basketball. Here's Fleury. Tries to go cross court. Gives it up now to Dyer. Dyer holds. Around to Diaz. Back to Dyer. Baseline. Looks, holds. Looks, holds. Double team. Ball is knocked away. And it's out of bounds. The Divas of pressure that the Eagles of Montverde are bringing right now, the Patriots cannot match. In that case, you're going to have to be very smart with the basketball. Well, it's going to become a very long night. On the inbounds, underneath the Harris for the layup shot blocked by Alibi, but it will be goaltending. Coming a little late was Alibi. He had the long arm out there, but got the ball on the way down. 6-5 score. Martez Walker in the game now. There's Gary Clark. Round the horn to Harris. Walker, Oliby puts it up. Layup, no good. Gets the rebound. Knocked up into the out of bounds. And it'll be American basketball. Inbound. There's Harris. Gives it around to Diaz. Back to Harris. Thinks about it. Diaz. Cross the timeline. Goes into the paint. Stops. Kicks over far side to Flurry. Ball scored. There's Harris. Puts on the floor. Stops. Gives it up top to Dyer. And he got it knocked away from him. Right now, Alibi out of the game. They want to keep him out of foul trouble. As you can see, he's a difference maker here. There's Harris getting the inbounds. Gets it around to Dyer. Just underway here in the first quarter. 4.30 left. 6 to 5 to score. Down the floor. is going to be knocked away. And a whistle blows. It's going to be carrying the call as... Gary Clark. Uh, check that palm in the ball. Is the call. We have you just joining us. Here, 6-5 to five is our score. Montverde leads. Boys American here in the first quarter. Here in the semifinal game. Uh, the Junior Orange Bowl Classic. Here's Dyer bringing things up at the point. High left side. Lokes gets it around. Up to Diaz. He holds Diaz high right. Gets it around now to Dyer who drives. Gives it to Harris, but he lost the handle on it. Going to be taken away by number four, Stefan Allegri. Around the horner goes Legre high left side, trying to work it down low inside John Michael Yotio. And Harris has it right now. Deshaun Harris holds one finger up, calling the play. Kevin Sutton halfway out on the floor. And it goes to uh, Martez Walker. Here's high left to go down to Deshaun Harris. He's the basket. Reverse layup is good. What a nice explosive move by Deshaun Harris. He has four points. Wow. Three oh three left to go in the first. Coming the other way is a three pointer, draining it. It's Boys America number thirty, Bernard Carr. All locked up at eight. Here's Ryan Barnes, and he double dribbled. One of the things early on in the win yesterday for Montverde was that they turned the ball over a lot in many different ways. They'll come the other way. Here's Harris, drive, leans into it. It's going to be a whole lot of contact. They're going to call the offensive foul. So 
we're locked up at eight. And here's Boys Monteverdi, Deshaun Harris. Gives it up to Allegre. And it goes working it down low. That's Walker down underneath to Ryan Barnes. He misses there, but a rebound put back. Michael Yotuyo. Yoshio with his first points. 10 to 8 side score. 207 left. And here comes Pedro Fleury at the top of the key. 159 left to go here in the first quarter. Looks, tries to get it up top. And the whistle blows. And again, a double dribble violation. So both teams are committing the easy turnover, as it were. Here's Martez Walker. Gives it up top to Gary Clark. Tries to work it down low. And Yoshio. It is the second bucket of the game. 12 to 8 to the score. Here's Bernard Marte. Cross quarter goes. Harris. Baseline three pointer is off. For Bernard Carr this time. Allegri comes up with it, pushes up the floor. Goes far side. That's Gary Clark, three pointer. Yes. Fifteen eight to score. And Lamar Dyer. There's a three pointer. By <laughs> Bernardo Marte. So both teams ran the threes. Coming down the other way, Yoshio puts it up off the glass. Too strong. Rebound. Comes down with it. That's Martez Walker. Puts it back up and in. 40 seconds left. 17-11 to score. There's William Harris. Playing catch cross court with Marte. That's a push over Dyer. Far side it goes. Diaz. Baseline three-point is no good. 26 seconds left in the leg ray. Going to push up the floor. Dribble his way away from contact. Give it up to Deshaun Harris. Driving in the lane, putting it up with the left hand is number 32, Martez Walker. 14 seconds left here to go in the first quarter. 19-11 is the score. Down to five seconds. Here's Harris. Far side it goes. There's a three-pointer by Carr to buzzer, and he'll miss there. Well, the Eagles lead 19-11, first quarter in the books. You're watching the 2006 Orange Bowl Classic right here on All In Broadcasting. Well, the athletes certainly came out in that last uh, half of the first quarter. 19-11 is the score to advantage Montverde right now. Both teams traded turnovers, and right now American with the basketball. It's Marquise, Marquise Law in the game for the first time. Throwing the ball away is Dyer as he tried to get it over to Jose Diaz. Here's a Sean Harris. Holds up high right side now. Stutter steps against Diaz. Gives it over now to Walker. There's a three-pointer by Gary Clark. It's no good. Ball knocked up into the air. Then he knocked up in the air a second time. And going into the scorer's table is number 23, Bernardo Marte, uh, along with Montverde's John Michael Yoshio. They're okay. We're back to exit. Here's Marte, holds up high left, puts on the floor. Looking for help. 
And gets it into the hands of Dyer. Dyer right at the half-court circle. Gives it back over to Marte. Far side it goes. In the game is Marquise Law. Marte holds. Marte has a big three here today. Get, deal against Allegri. Trying to get it around. The big seven-footer, Alibi, back in the game now. There's Marte, holds, looks, looks, gets double team taken away. Whistle blows, and we're going to have. It's going to be a delay of game warning against Mount Verde. And uh, uh, just very bizarre. <laughs> but nonetheless, number four, Stefan Allegri had to sit down. Here's Gary Clark, high left side. Looks. Gets it around to Sean Harris. Harris looks, looks, looks. Ball's going to be knocked up into the air. Taking it back, Diaz has a shot at it. He gets got a lane to the basket now. Makes a pump fake, puts it up, good, and a foul. And oh my goodness, the foul's going to be called against Gary Bellardo. But Bellardo doesn't even think he touched him. Well, Jose Diaz with a chance at the end one. And to make it a, only a five-point lead now for the Eagles. Diaz puts on the floor, shots on the ways, around and good. 19-14 now, 6.26 left to go in the half. Here on the inbound, that's Gary Clark. Gives it back to Yoshio. Up top it goes Bilardo. Bounce pass, nice pass underneath. They get it to uh, Deshaun Harris. Whistle blows, ball knocked out of bounds. It remained Eagle basketball. Harris got a lot of contact underneath there, but no foul called. Looking on the inbounds, and five seconds a call. One thing I learned about a lot of these Florida schools, they defend that inbounds pass very well. And good things can happen. So Allegra is going to come in for Bellardo now. Shirt tucked in at all. I think that's what the issue was. Bring it up the floor now. It's Jose Diaz. Diaz. Looks far side. It goes to Marte. Gives it up top, Harris pops a three off the iron, no good, knocked up into the air, down to the floor to be a scramble four, coming up with it again is Marte. Marte, baseline three, rainbows, good! Oh, that's a big shot. 19-17, 5.48, let's go in the half. Far side it goes, long and east. Alibi, double team, stop, look, jump hook, no good. But he gets the foul. Yeah, the big seven-footer. Puts on the floor. Takes the right. Yes, indeed. So we'll leave it. That's his fifth point. And he makes a lead 2017. Misses the chance at the second. Now bring it up the floor. There's a high. Right side it goes, and there's a three-point attempt. So 5.20 left. This is Sean Harris bringing it down, trying to get it to Allegra. It's going to be taken away by Dyer. Up the floor it goes. Into the hands of Marte. Lays it up. No good. Rebound. Diaz has a shot at it. Puts it up off the glass. That's no good as well. Garrett Clark knocks it out of bounds, and it will remain American basketball. Good opportunity for American here. Had they drained that there, they would have gotten it within one. Now 
Well, back on the inbound. There's a baseline. Dyer, wide open. Three-pointer is good. Three-point shooting has been very good on both sides. All locked up at 20. Five minutes left to go here in this semifinal. Here's Walker. Allegra is going to take a long-range three air ball. It. And Clark had a shot taking it back away, but it's going to be knocked out of bounds. All right, 4.45 left. American, after the Eagles got the short league, far side it goes. Over to Fleury. Up top now to Marte at the half court circle, dealing against Allegri. Gives it over to Dyer. Dyer crosses over, turns, spins in the paint, gets underneath to Marte, but he walked with it. He tried to get around Yoshio. And Barnes comes in the game now for Montverde. We got a timeout call. A 30 second timeout. Take one here as well. 4.23 left to go in the half. All locked up at 20. This is the Junior Orange Bowl Classic. Martez Walker on the inbounds. Looks, tries to go over to Gary Clark, over his head, out of bounds. Too strong on the pass. It's the one thing that drives Kevin Sutton crazy. That, this team just turns the ball over a lot. It's a talented, nationally ranked squad. And they got to make up for it. They just have to, have to make up for it right now. 4.07 left. Here's Dyer. As he gets it over to Marte, Dyer again, holds, said, tries to push over to Marte, but he walked with it. He had it stuck on his shoulder. The ball was stuck on his shoulder. He tried to push it over to Marte, took extra steps. Here's Sean Harris. Tries to go up high down to Barnes. Tries to lob far side, Clark does. He puts it up off the bank, no good. Rebound, knocked up into the air, tries to go up for it again, gets fouled. This time, it's going to go against Bernard Carr. Well, Gary Clark, another one of those impressive athletes with his Montverde squad. Put it on the floor. And switches through the first. He has four points. And rattling in the second. Makes it 22-20. And now it's Lamar Dyer bringing things up the other way. This is up to Bernard Baker in the game for the first time. He hands off to Marte, back to Baker, high right side. Far side it goes, there's a three-point attempt by Carr. He's going to go off the back iron, no good. Rebound Harris, and he palmed the ball. He palmed as he uh, tried to get around Bernard Baker and number 30, Bernard Carr. With that Brandon Baker. And now in the inbounds, will be Marte. There's Dyer, holds, gets around up top to Carr. Ran the horn to Brandon Baker. He puts up a runner, no good. Knock him into the air. It'll be a scramble for it. And Yoshio comes up with it. There's Michael Walker. 
Gives it up around the Barnes. Down to the lead. Yoshio lost the handle. It's going to be taken away by Dyer. Here it comes the other way now. It's the American Patriots. It's Marte, and he walked with it. Jose Diaz, and Jose Torres in the game five and three respectively. Line of the basketball to Sean Harris playing catch with Walker. Walker high right side gives it up. Ryan Barnes thought about a three. Back over goes to Walker who drives, puts it up and good. And Two twenty nine left. Twenty four twenty to score. There's Dyer, looks, stutter steps, far side he goes, over to Diaz, three-pointer, it's good. Uh, Jose Torres. Twenty-four, twenty-three. the score. Here's Gary Clark, drives off the glass and good. Getting a lot of contact, no foul call. Referee, for the most part, are letting the play. Down to 150 left. Dyer gets around to Torres. Torres is knocked away from him. Femi Apiket Apen. I can pet tie this in the game. <laughs> Here once again from Mount Verde. 127 left. Here's Brandon Baker. American with the basketball. Putting it down on the floor. There's Pedro Fleury. Back up to Baker. He holds. Got one on one against Gary Clark. High right side. And he hands off to Fleury. Fleury lost the handle. It's going to be taken away. It's going to be a blocking foul called on the takeaway. Against the Sean Harris. And a 30 second timeout call. So it's the 26 23 hours score. Back in a moment. And we're back to action. Nate Lewis with you. 111 left, 26 23 to score. On the inbounds, Baker looks. Gets around to Dyer, high right side. Uh, Diaz playing catch with Dyer now. Right side of the half court circle. One minute left. All right side it goes to Bernard Marte. Crosses over, looks. Around it to Dyer. Dyer left hand now, right hand dribble. Gets it over to Bernard Marte. Marte stopped, pops a three. That's going to be way off. Chases it down, knocked away. It's going to be down on the floor. Akipetide comes up with it, and it goes out of bounds. It will remain American basketball. The chance to pull to within one or tie this game.
Now in the inbounds, it'll be Bernardo Marte. Marte looking, looking. Gets a long inbounds to Dyer, and he'll reset things from there. 35 seconds left here in the first half. 26 23 our score. Bernardo Marte looks, trying to deal against Ochillo. And he's just holding the basketball. They're going to hold for the last shot. And Kevin Sutton's telling him to uh, challenge. There's nine seconds. Marte looks for help. Gives it to Dyer. Four seconds. And he tries to get to Diaz. Fadeaway jump three is off. Time expires in the half. So that's the last play. Sort of fell apart for American. But it's going to be a good one. It has been a good one thus far. 26 23 is our score as we go to the half. You are watching the 2006 Junior Orange Bowl Classic right here on All In Broadcasting. Well, welcome back once again to Miami Dade Community College. The home of the 2006 Junior Orange Bowl Classic. And what a classic we got brewing here right now. We're at the half. Getting ready to come out for a second half action. Montverde Lee's Boys American of the American High School Patriots. 26-23. And again, it looked like there was a point at which the Eagles were going to blow this wide open. But that American squad, they have been giving it everything they got here tonight. And that's what this, when you go up against these nationally ranked squads, that's what you have to do, bring their A game. And that's what Montverde expects. And let's see how they counter right now. 26-23 is the score. Montverde with the basketball to Sean Harris. Bring things up at a point. High right side. Looks, just double team. Able to find Alibi. Alibi to the driving. Clark, who puts it up off the glass too strong. Ball knocked away. Down to the hands of number 32, Dorian Dyer. Darian Dyer. There's a three-pointer by Diaz. No good. Rebound comes down to Alibi. Gets it back up to Deshaun Harris. Around the horn to Acapet tied. Lob Alibi. Puts on the floor. Jump hook. Yes. Well, when he gets in that deep, he's going to be trouble. That's the seventh point is Solomon Alibi. Here's Harris. Looks, gets it up high to Marte. And hands off, coming up high left side to Harris. Harris walks with it before he tries to get around Alibi. And that's the kind of matchup problem. You got an athletic seven footer in front of you. It leads to those kind of mistakes. Is I can pet tight. Gets it up uh, to Gary Clark. High left side. 28-23 to score. Deshaun Harris. He'll hold. Crosses over. Looking for help. I can pet tight. Clark. Alan Alibi. Underneath the basket. Pump fake. Puts it up off the glass. And good. Alabe, right now, he's pointed on first for the first two field goals for Monverde. 6-0-1 left, and American has yet to counter. Here's Harris, drives, leaves the basket, puts it up good. Except for that moment there where William Harris takes over. Now, and on the coming the other way, is almost taken away by Harris, and it will be given up as Alibe had his hands on it, went off his leg out of bounds. Here's Harris, looks. Gives it up around now to Marte. Diaz puts on the floor, stops, goes up top. Around the Dyer, Dyer pops three, and he drains it there. My birdie is Bilardo. He gets double teamed. 
Puts it over to cross the to Deshaun Harris. Tries to get it inside to Ali Bien. Gets knocked out of bounds. American has been relentless with the defensive pressure tonight. Inbounds, long inbounds to Sean Harris. Dyer on him tight, crosses the timeline. Looks, Alibi steps back as Harris holds. Gives it up to Bilardo, tries to lob into Alibi, into Harris who slams it home. I check that Gary Clark with a slam. 32 28 to score. Marte holds, gives it over to Harris at the half court circle. Up top now, the Lamar Dyer. Lamar Dyer puts on the floor, backs up towards, again, the half-court circle. Gives over to William Harris. And gives up around to Darian Dyer. Thinks about a three, backs up outside the arc. Has a much forward uh, acapetide on him. There's a driving Marte. Gets it back up now to Lamar Dyer. 4-19, let's go third quarter. Jose Diaz, he holds, puts on the floor, looks for help, gives over to Dyer, gets outside the arc, hands off to Marte, and he has it knocked out of bounds by Alibi. Sup, sup, sup. Well, Martez Walker will come in. Akinpetai, so now on the inbounds. There's Harris dealing against. Alibi spins, pass, Dyer, three-pointer, good. Yes, indeed. Well, that took a long time. But Darren Dyer with the second three of the game, 32 to 31. There's Clark, pump fake. Gives it to Bilardo. Round it goes down to Walker. Kind of work it down low to Alibi. There's Bilardo, pops a three, misses there long, and it goes out of bounds. Three twenty-eight left to go, third quarter, 32, 20, 21, 31 to score. There's Harris, looks, and he gets lost out of bounds. Coming to the game now for Monverde. Yoshio. Lobby will sit down. Let me out of the way. There's a three pointer by Marte. And that's uh, where all those nine points came from. The three now. Now the double team. It's going to be a foul call. Diaz reaching in on Deshaun Harris. And uh, the other way is going to be a foul call. It's going to go against Harris. It's one of those guys that can ill afford to lose here. Harris has been very active defensively. Yeah, hey, missing the first. Right now, American with the lead, 34-32. And getting the second of two. Here's Sean Harris. Makes it a one-point lead now for American, 
Coming the other way. It's going to be taken away by Bellardo. Coming in right side. Lays it up good. And taking the lead again is Montverde. 35-34. And then coming the other way. It's going to be an offensive foul call against William Harris. Sean Harris. Coming the other way, this uh, walking it up and working it in. With number five to Sean Harris. Boys American with the basketball. With Lamar Dyer. Hands off Harris and it's going to be blocking the call. Now more subs coming to the game here for Monverde. Ryan Barnes will be coming in for G Gabby Bellardo. So they need to wake up, wipe up some moisture. Now the front here. Now here, American with the basketball. Diaz losing it out of bounds. He put a pass way out in front of uh, Dyer. Went out of bounds. 37-34 to score. The Eagles with the advantage in the basketball now. Sean Harris will bring things down to point. As Walker on the wing. Now brings it up high left side. Stutter steps. Looks. Hands off to Gary Clark. Around the horn it goes. Here's the walker. Underneath it goes for the lay-in. Walker with six points. Makes it 39-34 with 131 to go in the third. There's Marte. Far side it goes. Dyer backing up. Around to Lamar Dyer at the half-court circle. 122 left. Back around to Marte. Marte looks, backs up. Fadeaway jump three is in there, and they're going to make it two. That's his eighth point. 108 left. And they're going to have a foul call. Said that's going to go against Darian Dyer. Inbounds with 106 left. Saved inbounds, uh, but backcourt's going to be the violation. Uh, Martez Walker couldn't get across the timeline in time. He tried to inbound it. So we're under a minute left. Here in the third quarter. Our left side it goes. Looks. Bounce pass comes out to Dyer again. Dyer's going to put on the floor. Underneath the goal, Sets brings it out now to Marte. And a three-pointer by Jose Diaz. And a timeout's called by Martez Walker. And so it'll be a full timeout. We'll take one here as well with 28 seconds. Let's go here in the third quarter. Yeah, 28 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. All locked up at 39. Well, we told you it's going to be a good one. 
I was talking with someone off the air during halftime, and they said America is putting everything they got into every single play. Let's hope they can hold up for another quarter. Well, thus far, they're pretty good. Yoshio on the inbounds, going to be taken away. Dyer underneath, reverse layup is good, and taking the lead is American. Coming the other way, it's going to be taken away. Here's Jose Diaz. Not a clear lane to the basket, gets fouled. Going to be Deshaun Harris with the foul. And again, one of the things we're talking about is how Mount Verde, as good as they are, as talented they are, they turn the ball over a lot for a team that might be one of the best in the nation. Jose Diaz, shots on the way is good. 10.4 seconds left to go in the third. And a second offering. is around the rim and off. And the rebound. It comes down to the hands of Martez Walker. Caught quickly down the floor. Gives it up to Bronze. That's a 22-footer that's missed. And the buzzer to put back is no good. And so we now go to the fourth with a 42-39 advantage. American comes warm back to take the lead. You are watching the 2006 Orange Bowl Classic on All In Broadcasting. Fill out that final spot in the championship round. Right here. 42-39 to score. American with the lead. They're looking is number 23, Brandon Marte. Holds gets it up to Dyer. Dyer gets it around to Diaz. Nice patience by American here. Far side it goes. There's the other Dyer boy. Darren Dyer pops three. That's going to go no good. And almost taken away as well. And it's going to be contact. And block is going to be the call. Looks like it's about to call the off the foul. Well, for the right to play Cherokee here for the championship. Allegri on the inbounds for Mount Verde. Sean Harris up in between the circles. 7.20 left to go here in regulation. Three-point lead for American. High right side. It goes to Deshaun Harris. Looks, backs up towards a half-court circle. Gives it up to Allegri. Allegri around to Harris. He drives, looks, leans into it off the glass. No good. And on the rebound, it will be Bernardo Marte. There's Marte right now with the basketball. And he's going to cross over, try to deal. Ghost gets the tip, in trouble. He's able to get it out to Diaz, who puts up, uh, gets it over to Dyer, who pops a three. That's number 32, Darian Dyer, and he, he draws a foul. So in this tournament, that's the second time right here where a guy's had an opportunity to shoot three and extend the lead. 
Dyer sets to the knee, shots on the way. It's around and off. And the second offering by Dyer. Drains that there. Mart and he gets two of three. Making that much harder. 39 44. There's Gary Clark. Looks, gets it up top to Harris. Far side it goes to Allegra. Allegra looks to put it on the floor. Gets it up top around the horn. Into the hands of Gary Clark who puts it up and gets it there. That's 12 points for Gary Clark. 44 41 to score. Down the floor it goes. Going to go out of bounds. And it'll be Eagle basketball. Down by three, 44-41. Here's Sean Harris. Tries to get it over to the leg rate. Almost taken away. Harris holds, high left side. Ray right up top now to the leg rate. Ryan Barnes. Holds. Clark trying to work down low. It's going to be an offensive foul called as he got into the acapeptide. So Gary Clark is a three pointer. Miss there. Uh, by Ryan. I checked that. That is. Jose Torres. No, Ryan Barnes. Ryan Barnes with the attempt. There's Harris. Ball almost taken away. Sean, it is taken away. Coming the other way. Is putting that up good. What a nice quick move by Sean Harris. That's nine points for Harris. Far side it goes. Almost taken away up top. There's Diaz. Drives runner. That's partially blocked by a peptide. And taking it out of the air. That's Ryan Barnes. Allegra. Drives baseline. Stops. Kicks it far side. Three pointer is good. That's going to be Gary Clark for two. And I like doubt taking a one point lead at the Eagles. We got a 30 second timeout. 30 second red timeout. Five minutes left, 45-41 or score. And would you expect no less out of uh, such a great event? A lot of great basketball being played. All right, I know a lot of folks around the world, maybe around the country here, think of Florida as being sort of a football-only mentality. And football certainly is prevalent here, but the basketball, particularly at the high school levels, has gotten better and better and better. Now you remember, in the college basketball, the national champion came out of the great state of Florida. As the uh, American Patriots make their way out to the floor now after the timeout. Five minutes left. Well, it's been an up and down battle. It will be American with the basketball on the inbounds. Lamar Dyer. Dyer gets over to Marte, pushes it up the floor. Gets the hands of Carr, who lays up with no good, knocked away. And coming up with it now is Deshaun Harris. Harris holds. Look, gives it over far side now to Barnes. Allegre. Around the horn to Clark. Who gives it over back to Harris again. Harris going to back up towards the half-court circles. Get it around to Allegre. Around the horn to Gary Clark. Bounce pass goes down low. I can tied back up top. 
Deshaun Harris, he drives, puts it up off the glass, no good. Rebound, like a peptide, baby hook, yes sir. And that's the first bucket in the game for Ogden uh, Peptide. 47-44 to lead. Here's Diaz. Gets it around. Up to Marte. Stops. Takes the three. That'll tie it up, but he misses. Whistle blows. And as the ball hit the retaining wire, that's out of bounds. It's really, uh, you know, these retaining wires here. I know they're necessary. But anyway. Sometimes they do get in the way of the game. Here's Ryan Barnes. It's the leg ray. He dragged the back foot. A little full court pressure being put on. And here's William Harris back in the game once again. Looks for help. Gets it up into the hands of Diaz. Diaz thought about it. He gets it down low with Clayton. Left side three is in and out. All down the ground is going to be a scramble for Allegri has it. Still looking. Little far side. There's Harris who gets a lot of contact. With 327 left. Coming the other way, boys American. Bernardo Marte driving is Harris, and he gets fouled on the baseline. He's going to go against Akin Peptide. 313 left. And it was a bowl ball knocked out of bounds. On the inbounds, went over the head of Harris, but able to catch up to it. Number 22, Brandon Baker. And he gives it up to Jose Diaz. Diaz crosses over left side. Two fifty-seven left, and here's Bernardo Marte. Gives it up high right to Baker in case he gets lost. It's a three-pointer. Uh, back iron, no good. The tip was by Brandon Baker, knocked out of bounds. It'll be Mountain Verde basketball. On the inbound, a lot of contact, no foul called. The shot, <laughs> Harris tries to get down to the Lakers, going to take it away by Harris. Comes in the right side. Bounce pass, far side, Diaz, three-pointer, big shot here. It's out. Rebound knocked up into the air, and there'll be a foul called. And may go against Ike Peptide because he's coming over the top. Two minutes, 33 seconds. Quickly on the inbounds, Dyer with the layup is no good. Rebound Harris, fadeaway jump, 10, that's no good as well. Knocked up in the air, fadeaway short jump is no good. And the ball knocked around, down on the floor, is going to be a scramble for it. Foul called. Coming underneath is number five, Deshaun Harris. Well, just about everybody in the nation can go off on the, on the, on the Christian church now because <laughs> I don't know what that means. But much like that, now it's open season. The seven fouls have been committed. In the old days, of course. Ricardo Marte. Two points. Differentiate these two teams and now make it one. There's Gary Clark, crosses over, looks. He goes to Allegra, high left side. In trouble. 
Gives over to Clark. He puts the shoulder down. Gets a lot of contact. Ball gets knocked away. Coming up with it is Sean Harris. And it's going to be a foul call. 2.04 left. Now check that. 30-second timeout. Well, 30 second timeout it is, so we'll take one here as well. It is the Gonzaga DC Classic from All In Broadcasting. Take pause, timeouts left. How are you looking both days? Well, one of the favorites here in Montverde to win this tournament. Are getting a different opinion from one American high school. Now Allegri on the inbound. Farsadico is going to be taken away. Quickly up the floor. In the hands of Clark. Ball shot blocked by Allegri out of bounds. Allegri showing some ups as he gets up high for that one. Kelly. Labe back in the game now for Montverde. <laughs> 155 left. On the inbounds, Harris. Harris, high left side, looks, puts on the floor, crosses over, drives, and he tries to hand off to his friend, lays it up, no good, but a foul call. Ryan Barnes with his first foul. And here's a chance right now for this young man, Brandon Baker, to help tie and or take the lead. This is the first. And the second offering, that's no good. Rebound comes down. Into the hands of Alabe. Knocked out of bounds. So it remains a one-point lead. Montverde trying to advance to the championship. Harris. This is to the hands of Marte. Marte's handled the ball quite a bit here in the second half. Dealing against Akampetide. Around the horn, getting up top to Diaz. High left side, three-pointer is off the iron, no good. Rebound up in the air, it's going to be a foul called. That's going to go against Alevi. And that should bring William Harris to the line. Dyer comes back in the game for America. Here's William Harris with a one-on-one. -on -one. He has seven points tonight. His shot's on the way. Round and off. Rebound. I can pep tight. He's in trouble. Knocked away out of bounds. And it's going to remain Eagle basketball at 116 left. Nursing a one-point lead. Like a peptide on the inbound. Full court pressure being put on by American. And he calls a timeout. And probably a smart one. Introducing the International Association of Home Business Entrepreneurs. It's an organization that champions the home business life.
And so on the inbounds. I can peptide again. Full court pressure. Being put on the mat. Here, yeah, number three, Ryan Barnes gets the inbounds, taken away from him, down on the floor, be picked up by Diaz, who lays it up and good. And with that, American takes the lead. Still full court pressure. Here's Sean Harris. Oh, he's thinking going coast to coast. He backs up high right side outside the arc. Three point attempt. This one will take the lead. Right back, Ryan Barnes. He gets the big shot. 50 48, a score, 52 seconds left. What a wild finish we're going to have here. Been wild up to this point. There's Harris. I think that Marte. <coughs> Goes cross court. Driving going underneath. Shot blocked by both Alebe and Ryan Barnes. And we'll have a foul call. And so foul in the back court, of course, with a bonus. Femi Akinpeptide. Yeah, these are big shots, to say the least. Shooting a one and one. Whistle blows, and it'll be a timeout call. They'll try to freeze Akinpeptide. So, full time out, 50 48. So, score back in a moment. And as we wait on American to get out of their huddle, 32.5 seconds left. Winner here advances to the championship game. It was Junior Orange Bowl Classic. Right now, I can peptide at the line shooting two. I'll make that shooting one and one. Shots on the way. Oh, air ball. Ugh. Ugh. That's where you had your legs taken away from you. you. Get a shot like that when you don't have any legs left for the first so peak. Meaning fatigue. 27 seconds left. 50 48 our score. It's American needing a bucket, needing a good look at the basket. Bernardo Marte holds. 15 seconds left. Well, they're going for the last one. And it's a three-pointer. It's going to be missed six seconds. He gets it back. Does Marte. Pulls from eight. Yes, sir! We're all tied up. And we're going to overtime. As time expires, it's Bernardo Marte. Hits the big bucket after the miss. And he did a great job of following his shot. All locked up at 50. We're going to overtime here in this semifinal game of the... Junior Orange Bowl Classic. All the action for you right here on All In Broadcasting. Well, we're back out. 
extra frames. You have a four minute overtime period. You have a jump ball at midcourt. And the fireworks. This is the first overtime game in the entire tournament. Tip, now it's going to be knocked away as Appen Tip tied. Cheated just a little bit as soon as the ball went up. And being controlled by the Eagles. Here come the other way now is Gary Clark. was very quiet here in the second half. Down the corner goes. Allegra to Harris. Zone being deployed by American. Allegra left open for a three. Drains it there. But there's a reason why he's playing for the squad. 53-50 right now. Here's Jose Diaz, crosses over, gives it up to Marte. High, right side, it goes over to Brandon Barker. Backs up left side, outside the arc. All around to Dorian Dyer. 314 left. Around the horn. Gonna go to Harris, crosses over. Gives it up. Over around to Brandon Baker. Coming inside. Far side it goes, three-pointer to answer back, no good. Knocked him into the air, getting the rebound back. That uh, is Ryan Barnes. He pushed up the floor, tried to touch it from uh, Gary Clark. He tried to touch it up the floor there before you he got fouled. 2.51 left to go here in the extra frame. That was a long sequence by American to come up empty. Of course, you want to work for the good shot. But when you get it, that was just crucial. Mar Dyer gets his fourth foul. And is Gary Clark in the line? Shots on the way around. No good. Rebound comes down to Harris. Quickly up the floor. Lamar Dyer is back in the game now. Whistle blows. Going to be a backcourt violation. Backcourt violation. Wow. No, check that. It's not a backcourt violation. So they uh, give the ball over to the American. Indeed, 238 left. Here's Diaz. High left side. Around the top, three-pointer. Banked it in. Now two points. The Bernard Carr. 53-52 score. Leg Ray lost the handle and out of bounds. It's going to remain American basketball. They're going to keep it two points. There was some disp the dispute whether or not if uh, Lamar Dyer's foot was out of the, or inside the arc. Yeah, doesn't matter now. There, Sean Harris. Going to hold 53-52, 2.15 left. Allegra looking for help. Gets it around to Sean Harris. Still working around. Here's Ryan Barnes. Gets around to Sean Harris. He drives. Double pump runner. No good. Tip up into the air. Down the floor is going to be a scramble for it. With 155 left. And coming up with it is American. Here's Dyer. Drives. Pushes it over the far side. Harris, who tries to put it up, and doesn't work. Yoshido gets called with the foul. And right now, if Harris can make these both, it's be a good shot now. America winning it. Shots on the way. It is good. Ball locked up again at 53. Here's set the needs. William Harris shots on the way. It's good. Taking the lead. Right now is Boys American. 
Now coming into the way, ball's knocked out of bounds. By William Harris. It's going to remain Liberty basketball. And I'll check that. It's going to remain Eagles basketball. Allegra on in the inbound. Allegra hit a big three pointer to open this game up. The leg ray ball is going to be knocked away, not saved. It was Lamar Dyer. Now it's a one point lead for these so called super beings. <laughs> and so it's on the inbound of Allegra. 126 left. Hands off to Sean Foss. Gives it over to Allegra. Back. To Deshaun Harris and driving and making the layup is number 34, Yoshido. So taking the one point lead, the foul is going to be on Harris. Here's Yos Yosio. He had a pretty good game today with six points. His shot's on the way. Way short. Boy, these foul shooters, Eagles have really have lost their legs, as it were. This tough up, up and down matchup. 106 left. Here's Dyer crossing over. Here's it over to Diaz. Diaz looks. In the round as Harris up top, pump fake, drives in the paint, has a clear lane, puts it up off the glass, good. And taking the lead now as American. 42 seconds left. Oh, this is Sean Harris. High left side, playing catch with Ryan Barnes. Back around now to Harris, 29 seconds left. Crossing over Harris. Dealing, looks, lost, almost lost a handle on it. Making somebody to hand off to. Gets it to Gary Clark. Around to a leg rate, 20 seconds left. Whistle blows, timeout called. It looks like as if they almost forgot they were down by one. 19.6 seconds left. It's going to be a full timeout. We'll be back in just a moment. You're watching the 2006 Junior Orange Bowl Classic right here on All In Broadcasting. Nineteen point six seconds left. The Eagles down by one, fifty-six fifty-five here in overtime. And it's gonna be a timeout called American now. So it's been deemed a full timeout. We'll take one as well with nineteen point six seconds left. Fifty-six fifty-five a score American leads. Mount Verde right here in the 2006 Junior Orange Bowl Classic. So is Derek Gary Clark on the inbound. 
19.6 seconds left. Looking for Allegri. Instead, gives it over to Deshaun Harris. Will the Eagles hold for the last shot? They may have no choice. They're down 13 seconds right now. Bring it up top now to Ryan Barnes. Three-pointer. This will win it, and it does! Oh, three-pointer by Gary Clark deep in the hole! Makes it 58 to 56. There's still time left on the clock, so that's not exactly your game winner. 5.6 seconds. Oh, my. Gary Clark was way deep in the hole, high left side. That must have gone from about 25 feet out. Now there's 6.3 seconds left. They reset the clock. 6.3 seconds. And Montverde will be in the championship against Cherokee. 6.3 seconds as well. When as American. With the bucket, can force another overtime. Or with a three, win it. Six point three seconds left, fifty eight fifty six our score. Montverde with the lead. Now, if you're American, you got to be smart with the basketball. You get way down there. You know, you don't necessarily need a three. Take the highest possible percentage shot. Quickly down the floor. Here's Harris. Down to four seconds. Across his timeline. Gives it over. Try, tries to get it down. Three-pointer at the buzzer. Is going to win it. No. In a close ball contest, Montverde did what they came here and what they needed to do. They win this one. 58 to 56 will be playing Cherokee in the championship game here in the boys bracket what a game it has been made this tournament that's got to be the best game of the tournament thus far overtime win once again for montverde over american 58 to 56 you have been watching all in broadcasts production of the 2006 junior orange bowl classic